morning. I'd like you to meet Owen. Owen is a 78-year-old man, retired a number of years ago after a successful career as a veterinarian. Owen lives alone these days since his wife passed away. He has three adult children, but they live away in the city. And in the past year, he lost his older brother and a best friend. That's what aging looks like. Somehow the world feels smaller these days for Owen. He doesn't hold quite the same promise it used to. Some days he doesn't know quite what to do with himself. Boredom and loneliness, they cast shadows on long days. This is one man's story, but it's a very common story as society ages. And society is aging, dramatically. The older adult population is growing exponentially. In Europe, by 2025, it is expected that one-third of the population will be aged 60 or over. The real problem is loneliness and isolation. With so many of our seniors living alone, it appears to become an epidemic over the age of 65. In the UK, for example, one in six people are defined as chronically lonely. Furthermore, many older adults struggle financially with inadequate pensions. And despite travel being listed as the number one preference for how they would like to spend their retirement, many older adults complain that there are a lack of options, largely because they lack travel companions or they lack the confidence to go it alone. We believe the sharing economy offers a solution and enter the Freebird Club. So the Freebird Club is a peer-to-peer -peer social travel and homestay club for older adults. It is a membership club whereby senior member hosts make spare rooms available to fellow member guests to come and stay for a nightly rate. Uniquely, with these stays, the host is always present in the home, as this is about companionship rather than just accommodation. How do we do it? We have developed a customized, accessible, age-friendly web platform which allows members to set up personal profiles describing themselves, their backgrounds, their interests, as well as details of their available accommodation should they want to become hosts. But this is about people. It's about people matching with people, not just finding a nice place to stay. And from a tech perspective, what we've done is taken elements of Airbnb and, and marry them, if you like, to a companionship type site like Match.com so that we've created a unique social hybrid model that brings people together. The value proposition is fourfold. Firstly, travel. This opens up a whole new world of social travel opportunities for independent older adults. A means to unlock some of the asset value that's tied up in those empty nests to earn an income in later life. Provides a fun and accessible way to meet new people and enjoy companionship. And these new opportunities empower older adults, boosting their self-confidence and esteem at a time when it could sometimes decline in later life. So just to give you a very brief demonstration of the web platform, you can see it is based around searching a place you'd like to visit, and more importantly, searching for the people you'd like to meet there as hosts. You can see the selection of hosts that are available to meet you and welcome you to their home in that area. You can see the obvious information about their, their homes. But more importantly, you get to see information about the person themselves. A little bit of background, their favorite things, their interests. And this is the host, but the host sees the equivalent on the guest side because the idea is that people will match up, select each other on the basis of shared interests and perceived compatibility. The idea came from my father. The man I introduced you to at the start, that's my father, it's my father's story. And I, I developed this idea having seen the positive interactions he was having with fellow older guests that came to stay in a rental house that I have in the south of Ireland, in my home place. The idea enabled me to win a place on a three-month accelerator at the Impact Hub in London, um, after which I had developed a well-researched well uh, comprehensive business plan. The next step was to find a suitable technology partner who, was, who had the requisite accessible design skills to build this age-friendly platform. Enter Mr. Nahong Lau. And together we built this uh, prototype that enabled us to do an international pilot, bringing people, older adults from the UK, to stay with their peers in Ireland. Along the way, we've picked up a number of grants and awards, most notably the European Commission Social Innovation Prize last year. And we have been careful to develop relationships with positive aging organizations who we see as stepping stones to the senior community. We've also put together the team that's capable of bringing this to the market. After much perspiration and inspiration, we finally launched only last month. And we already have almost 600 members across 25 countries worldwide. 80 of which have gone on to become hosts. Our sustainability and scaling is based around a robust business model, which I'll illustrate shortly, as well as a fundraising effort, which we have just initiated. We're now actively talking to investors. 
we are developing strategic partnerships, not just with these positive aging uh, organizations internationally, who we see as conduits to the, to the market, but also uh, travel and tourism organizations who are also trying to tap that silver economy. Where our marketing efforts are geared specifically around festivals and events that attract older people, for example, gardening or arts, culture, heritage. And we are also agile developing our website based on customer feedback, developing new design features and functionality. Version 2.0 is already in our plans. The business model is quite simple. We have a joining fee, 25 euro, once off, which covers the extensive vetting process for members. We have a percentage commission on each booking, shared between the host and the guest. And we see co-promotional opportunities with in-kind benefits with some of our partners, particularly in the travel and tourism space. Our financials are based around two key metrics, number of members and number of nights booked. Our goal over the next four years is to reach that, that magic number, one million members and five million nights booked. And with that, if we achieve it, we see break-even uh, uh, point appearing in the third quarter of our second year. And if we were lucky enough to win here today, we see that coming forward by approximately six months. We have an excellent, passionate team with age and, and youth and wisdom and energy and a mix of skills from IT through to marketing and customer service. We also have a high-level uh, advisory board and a volunteer force of 10 older adults who, who join us and contribute their skills to do tasks as required. It's all about impact, though. We want to create well-being for older people, and we believe we can do this by creating a real community of elders and building bridges and connections between them. We're aiming to hit 1 million members and 500,000 connections between them within four years. We believe in positive aging in the workforce as well as with our customers. To that end, we have actually established a 50 over 50 employment policy where we're going to staff our, our team with 50% over the age of 50. We want to develop a new way of doing business, going beyond the sharing economy to create this new caring economy. And finally, we want to disrupt aging and change And that lives. is time.